right y'all I'm back with a, another video and this is gonna be a get ready with me and I'm just gonna do an easy everyday look I did have a request to do this video and truth be told I was going to do like a skincare video but I was reading my comments and I saw that I had a request I didn't even really know that um, people really still wanted to see the get ready with me's so y'all if y'all have any request of type of videos that you want me to do let me know so I can get to work on them so anyway I got some products here some are high-end some are luxury some are affordable you know it's just kind of a hodgepodge you know how I do so the look that I'm going to do is basically the look that you all have been seeing in my past couple of skincare videos it's super easy however uh, most of them I have on some lashes okay and there was one video that I had a lot of highlighter on so I'm probably going to you know add all of that good stuff so it's not going to be any eyeshadow it's just going to be pretty much face so I've already got my skincare done except for um, a moisturizer and I'm going to use this Clarins extra firming moisturizer this is it if y'all are familiar with my videos you all know that I love Clarins and the moisturizer is orange so I'm just going to get that all in and apply that on my face and this one does have a scent it's really nice um the reason that i'm using this one under this uh makeup look that i'm gonna do is because this moisturizer is very hydrating and i'm going to be adding powder to this as well as a setting spray and i don't want my skin to dry out and let me tell y'all that's the worst thing that you can do is like you know apply all of your makeup and your powder and all this other stuff and your makeup just makes you look like the crib keeper you that that's a no-no we don't want that <laughs> so anyway all right so for the foundation i'm going to use this uh, fenty beauty foundation and i don't have all my glasses but this is the tint that they have i like using this uh, because it is a tint but the coverage is really nice and i have hyperpigmentation down here which would be much much worse if uh, if i didn't take care of my skin and then around the perimeter of my face so i'm just gonna quickly quickly shake this up <laughs> and when i'm in a rush before i do my videos honestly y'all i just apply it to my face just like this and it may look like a lot and it is a lot you don't have to use this much this is just me being extra because when i uh put on my makeup even though it is like a uh, everyday natural look i still want not to be like flawless but i do want everything to be even if that makes sense you don't have to put as much on as i have on you definitely don't have to but i'm going to use a brush and blend all of this out and i love it because it blends out so quickly and evenly and it just look, really looks good on the skin and i'm going to get my eyes too i did put on a lot it really doesn't look like i have on that much my skin still does look very hydrated and you want that, especially when you get in my age group. Some of you all know that um, I'm not sure when this video is going to go up, but if it's on the if it's up on the first today is my birthday. I'm 50 years old. Um, you don't want to, you know, have a matte, you know, look. OK, let me let me rephrase that. I don't want my skin to look very matte. You know, I want it to look dewy hydrated not oily but dewy and hydrated so don't get nervous if now you see that it looks like super uh, hydrated remember i still have to put powder on i still have to spray so if you're already looking dry at this point it's cause to be nervous in my opinion okay so got that done and now i need a wipe because I still use wipes y'all but not to clean my face I think I've stated that in older videos if you are using uh, wipes to clean your face please stop that get some type of cleansing oil preferably you know if you can something that doesn't have coconut oil in it only because sometimes that can clog pores but if you know that coconut oil is going to treat you and your skin fine definitely go ahead and use it all right 
So now that I got that done, I'm gonna go ahead and add a concealer and I'm gonna use my, the Lip Bar Concealer. This is it right here. And the color that I have it in is in cinnamon. What is this? No, that's not cinnamon. This is caramel. And I'm going to add this under my eye. And I do add a lot. Well, I'm sure you all think that it's a lot, but it's only because I want that highlighted look. And a lot of it will be blended away when I use my beauty sponge. So I'm just gonna take a sponge and just kind of blend all of that in. And see, as you can see, it just kind of blends away. Not away, but it still doesn't look as heavy as it did because a lot of it is in the sponge. And so I'm gonna put some right here, just for highlighting purposes, and some on my chin, and a little bit up here, just for highlighting purposes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend all of this out. And I don't know if you all can tell or not, but this concealer plays very well with this uh, Fenty uh, tint. I'm not sure if you are aware or not, but some complexion products do not play well with others. You can be adding your powder or your concealer or something like that, and then you'll look in the mirror like this, and you'll see that the product is lifting, you know, just a lot of nonsense, but plays very well with it and as you can see my skin still looks very hydrated all right so for bronzer I'm going in with elf and this is their cream contour palette and I absolutely love this I'm gonna go in with this shade uh, for contouring and I'm just going to use a stippling brush and just apply it around the perimeter on my face like so And I'm just gonna do a little bit just to kind of add definition back to my face. All right, so now I'm going to set everything. I'm gonna set my under eye everywhere where I've highlighted. Then I'm gonna do the powder. But before I do that, um, I wanna go back in and just blend. Take my sponge and go under my under eye and my eyelid to just kind of smooth out any creasing or settling into lines that may have happened. Because if you don't do that, because if you don't do that, when you go in to set it with your powder, that line or that whatever makeup have settled in your crease is gonna be there. <laughs> There's no getting it off. All right, so to set, I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild powder. I'm gonna set under my eyes. With you all, if you have not tried this drugstore powder, you've gotta try it. This one, <laughs> it can hang with the big dogs. Plus, it doesn't cause my allergies to act up. I don't know about anybody else's, but it doesn't cause mine. So I'm just taking my little uh, sponge and I'm gonna go in and just set my under eye like so and it just melts into the skin it's great if you're looking for a very affordable powder that works that's easy to use that you can set your makeup with that won't cost a fortune okay now that i've got all of that applied now i'm going to go in with some powder and i'm going to use my lip bar powder this is it the packaging is just so adorable this is the shade so i'm just going to set it very lightly I'm not going to add a lot and then i'm going to this may seem a little bit odd but i'm going to go in with an eyeshadow brush and i'm going to take my powder i'm just going to go along to where it's looking like i'm going to contour my nose and i'm not using my bronzer powder because i want this part to be very as light as possible all right so now i'm going to go in with my brows and i'm going to not do the most <laughs> And I'm just going to take a spoolie and brush them up. And I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this Essence Super Fast Brow Pencil. This is it right here. And I'm just going to fill in my brows. I'm 
all right I got one side done and I'm just gonna fill in the other side just a little all right so I got my brows filled in and I think I want to just carve them out just a little bit even though I said I wasn't and, and I'm just gonna carve them out just a little bit with my foundation just to kind of have them looking a little bit neat on camera so this is it just carving them out just a little bit and remember this is something you definitely don't have to do all right and to set the foundation that I just added to my eyes I'm just gonna go in with the powder the lip bar powder that I just used and just go in and set that all right so next I'm gonna go in with a powder bronzer and this is my Gucci bronzer this is it right here and this is the shade right here so I do need to let you all know this does lean very red so if you're not a fan of the red <laughs> bronzers um, you would not like this one at all so let me find a brush so I'm just gonna put a little, I'm gonna put a little on my nose. So can you all see how red it is? I like that look, some people don't. You know, it just depends on what you like. Got that applied. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of brush. I have a lip bar blush and I'm gonna add some of this. This is the shade. It does have a little bit of metallic um a metallic consistency um so i'm just going to add that just like this and as you can see i added too much so whenever you add too much blush or anything like that just go back in with your foundation sponge or brush and go over it like that and it's almost like an eraser and if you feel like it's not erasing enough like right now i feel like it's not <laughs> erasing enough Put a little bit of your foundation on the back of your hand like that and just kind of rub it in just so you get a little bit because you only want a little. Pounce it in, okay, and then get a little bit more off on your hand and then go over it until it takes off as much as you want taken off. All right, so I've got that taken off. And as you can see, um, you saw it before I applied the foundation. And then now you can see that it's a little bit lighter. It still looks a little bit dewy. I did not add any powder on top of that. Um, I'm just gonna wait and let you all see how that dries first before I add the powder. Now I'm gonna add just a little bit of eyeliner. I'm gonna keep that super close to my lash line um, because again, I'm trying to get it to look as natural as possible, even though I have on all this blush. <laughs> so this is just a wet and wild eyeliner. Very cheap, but it's super good. If you're not good at lining your brows, just stamp it. Just kind of go close to your lash line and press, get a little stamp and then move uh, further out, stamp it until you complete the line. It's kind of like, uh, almost like connect the dots a little bit. And for my lashes, I'm going to go in with this Kiss Couture Faux Mini Collection. And these are the lashes in Gala. So as you can see, these lashes aren't really natural lashes, I don't think. <laughs> But because you all are watching me and you know that I love lashes, I will go, I have been known to go like way bigger than these, but I'm just going to wear these uh, because I like them. I'm going to add my glue and the glue that I'm going to use is this Kiss uh, Strip Last Adhesive Glue and it has aloe in it. This is it right here. Now they do have lash glue that is stronger than this, but I'm going to tell you, I'm just going to be real. Okay, I don't need... <laughs> lash glue or I don't like to wear lash glue that's super hard to get off okay um, so I don't really gravitate towards those type of uh, lash glues this one um, when you get ready to take it off you can just literally just peel it off there's some glues out there when you get ready to take them off you're like wondering oh my goodness what did I do <laughs> so um, I like this glue it works really well for me so I'm going to add the glue and let it get tacky I always let the the glue get tacky that's um, one step that would make 
your eyelash application less frustrating. So that's what I'm doing now. Adding the glue and then I'm gonna let it sit. So you just add it, put it there and just kind of set it aside while you work on your next makeup application. And the more and more I look at all of this blush, I'm thinking this is like really not natural. So let me add a little bit more powder <laughs> to it, which is what I said I was gonna do, but I do like how dewy it's looking. So I'm just gonna add some more powder on, see if I can kind of soften that up more. All right, so now I'm gonna go in for lips and I'm gonna use this, uh, one of these new, relatively new products by NYX and the lipstick, I think it's like a vinyl lipstick. I'll put the name of it across the screen. I don't have on my glasses, but you can wear a mask and let me tell you, your lipstick will not transfer and it looks like this. And it's double-sided. So one side you have the gloss and then the other side you have the color. And it's super pigmented and you can see just by one stroke how it covered up all of the hyperpigmentation I have on my lips. All right, so while all of that is drying, I wanna talk about another product that Clarence sent over. Um, they sent over all of their new lip shines and I'm going to add one of them over this one, uh, but they all look like this. I'm going to open them up so you can see all of them all at once. They've got so many good ingredients in them and these are a little bit different from what they already have on the market. Um, these are just metallic and I love metallic lipsticks and I'm just, I guess I'm dating myself. <laughs> by saying that any type of shimmer which is um i'm sorry these are shimmer um any type of shimmer metallic anything i love it they have a lot of reds and pinks as you can see here are all the shades right here uh, but the shade that i'm going to apply on over what i have now is this silver one but this is these are super nice now i'm just going to go back in with this clarence gloss and i'm going to add this over what i already have on my lips and just to show you how this NYX does not lift up, you all saw how I'm adding it to my um, lipstick. It's not even transferring to the little brush. Do y'all see that? But in order for it not to transfer, you just have to make sure that the lip is dry. If it's not dry, then it's gonna transfer. All right, so I have that on. Really pretty, I like that. Remember, I love anything shimmer, anything metallic-y anything like that. So let me go ahead and pop these lashes on and I'll be right back. All right, so now I'm back with the lashes on and I'm gonna go ahead and set everything. And this is my favorite drugstore setting spray. This is by Physicians Formula and this is their 24K, 24K setting spray. Now it does have little gold flakes in it. And once I get everything sprayed and it's sprayed down, you'll see. But I really like how this looks. So the only thing that I don't like about this is the sprayer the sprayer is horrible and it will leave splotches but I'm gonna tell you all what to do when that happens so I'm gonna go ahead and spray all right so got all that spray so if ever you spray and you see little splotches like over here you just take your um, your blender or your sponge and just kind of even them out Okay, and then you always wanna have your little fan on standby <laughs> to, to uh, go ahead and help all this stuff dry down. So it just looks really, really pretty. All right, and then what I've also been using, and I don't even know if they sell this any, any I don't know if they sell this anymore, but this is the Natasha Denona, what is this? The Diamond and Blush Palette. I don't think they do. But what I've been using lately is this right here. Uh, this highlight, the Royal, blush that's what it says right here and what I'll do is I'll take my sponge and just kind of go all in there and just go to town and get it all on my sponge and then I'll just go like that and it is a lot I know and you don't have to do it but I like it when you go out in the daytime it looks like sparkles on your face but when you go out in the evening it just looks like a really hella intense highlight but anyway i think that this is super pretty 
Is this natural? No, this is just something extra that <laughs> I like to do. And my friends, this is it. This is my natural look uh, for me. Like if you go back in any of my older videos, you'll, you'll be like, yeah, that's natural for her. And it's super simple. Okay. I think the only thing that just really makes it complicated is probably the lashes and the blush. You know, because really you just need a foundation and a concealer. So anyway, let me know down in the comments if you have any requests or what you like to use for your natural makeup looks. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.